We started Songs in the Night because of the huge vacancy I find in the body of Christ. A consistent behavior among American Christians that know how to prosper but don't know how to suffer. You see, right now there's a popularity about always trying to be on the positive side. We have motivational speakers who are constantly telling you how positive you need to be, how upbeat on a consistent basis you should be, how you should always have a smile on your face, you know, and a joy in your heart. But that's not the reality of the facts of faith when it comes to aborting in Christians. Because you see, there are times of sorrow and there are times of depression. There's times of sadness and there's times of joy. There's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to suffer and a time to cry. Songs in the night, God said literally to me, share that with which you've been through, express that with which you felt, and share the reality of what it means to be a Christian who isn't always happy, who isn't always joyful, but still has faith in God and trusts in Him. Because I have found in Streams in the Desert, especially with uh, Mrs. Charles Coleman, who watched her husband suffer and die while a missionary overseas, I believe in China, but I'm not positive. And she wrote down from her journal all of these devotionals that we have contained in Streams in the Desert and all the volumes of her faith that did not lose sight of Jesus himself as she took care and ministered to her husband through the times of his trials and tribulations. Because you see, in our day today, we have great success stories and we love to tell the success story. We love to show the Nick Vujovics or the uh, Johnny Tata Erickson's, but even they will tell you there are times in their life when it wasn't always happy, happy, and go, go, go. Johnny talks about a time when she wanted to die, when she wanted to kill herself, and had she not been paralyzed from the neck down, she probably would have. For myself, I know in the times of my suffering, when I nearly killed myself, had it not been for God intervening, I would have succeeded. There was no doubt about it. Diving off of a second story building doesn't sound like much unless you dive head first into cement, which I had planned out and was ready to commit. The reality of every born again Christian is that you will go through a time and a season of suffering. Jesus promised that. You will go through tribulation. You will go through a time of sorrow. You will go through a time of sadness. You may think, being based upon your faith experience of some Bible teacher, that you don't have to prepare for that. But God, in reality, has said all along, in the world you shall have tribulation. And He has given us not just promises, but He has assured us that you will face death and the shadows of death. You need not fear, but you will go through fear. You need not be overwhelmed, but you will be challenged. You need not be overcome, but you will fall flat on your face. Because the reality of faith for a Christian isn't just about being able to put all your happy feelings in a box and open it up every time you want to just have a sugar candy and a sugar daddy. But sometimes God removes himself and his very presence from you to teach you the reality of what he wants to, you to learn. And each one of us go through trials and tribulations of our own. I can't explain to you the faith of a woman that would stay with a husband that's beating her when all the Christians are telling her to leave. And yet, B.J. Thomas thanks God that his wife did not leave him. I cannot tell you about the reality of men and women of God who go through trials and tribulations because God said to do contrary to what people were telling them to do. Songs in the Night is about that. Because Songs in the Night comes from the scripture that says, There is none that saith, Where is God my maker, who giveth songs in the night. Because in the night of your despair, in the darkest night when you know not where, that you're going to find some encouragement, the only place you can turn to is God. 
because there are times in life where you will go to that place where no one else will see your face but only God can hear your cry and only God sees your tears and some of you will die and not everyone's prepared for that and not everyone is ready for suffering but times of suffering need not tear us down to the place of completely losing our faith but rather sometimes it removes us from the place of other Christians so that we would have faith after we have gone through our trial and tribulation of suffering so Sons in the Night on video we're sharing the reality of our experiences together relating Jesus in a positive way that even Jesus himself feared did you know that? it says that he learned obedience in that while he suffered he was found that he in that he feared and that's kind of one obscure scripture that we go wait a minute Jesus the Son of God had fear at some point in time he had doubts he had worries he had concerns he had care. when you really examine the Garden of Gethsemane you'll find that there is no place that God has not been that you're experiencing that he hasn't felt and he hasn't been there really you may say that no one knows like you do but you're going to find that nobody knows you like you do or like God does he puts his arms around you and he sees you through the reality of a mature Christian is the balance of knowing what suffering is and being able to endure that time and then turn around and console those even though they may be suffering themselves that's what Jesus did when he said Father forgive them for they know not what they do so in Songs in the Night we share from streams in the desert we relate from those places that a woman of God stood in the gap for her husband a man of God and God honored them I have chosen you in the furnace of affliction Isaiah 48 10 does not the word come like a soft shower assuaging the fury of the flame yes it is not in an asbestos armor against which the heat has no power let the affliction come God has chosen me poverty you may stride in at my door God is in the house already and he has chosen me sickness you may intrude but I have balsam and medicine already God has chosen me whatever befall me in this veil of tears I know that he has chosen me fear not Christian Jesus is with you in all your fiery trials his presence is both your comfort and your safety he shall be your joy though for a season you are in sorrow he will never leave one whom he has chosen for his own fear not for I am with you is his sure word of promise to his chosen ones who endure in the furnace of affliction By night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. May it be that God bless us when we go through those trials and tribulations and sorrows and sufferings. And may God give us songs in the night so that we might sing even in our sorrows and in the midst of our tears.